You can't enter! Bishop Ambrose? We don't remember inviting you. I'm here to talk to you about something more important than a simple invitation. And what would that be? Justice. <sighs> I know a man, a devoted husband, father of three children. I remember when his wife gave birth to their first son. This man was at the front fighting for Rome. I remember when his second son died from a fever. This man was at the front fighting for Rome. I remember when this man said goodbye to his eldest son who went off and died for Rome. Today, this man is in jail. Yesterday, your guards arrested him for unpaid debts, and tomorrow they will sell him as a slave. It's the law. Debts must be paid. That's why I'm here. Because Rome has a debt to pay this man. A debt that can be paid by giving him his freedom. Find me a solution and quit him. I know this man. I will look into his case. General Bartoni, I'm grateful for your intervention. Forgive me for disturbing you. Empress Mother. Emperor. And since you're here, Bishop Ambrose, I would like to introduce you to Aurelius Augustine, the court orator. I've heard much about you. And I about you. I heard you are a follower of Moni. That's right. So, I have here a Manichaean, two Aryan Christians, a traditional pagan, and a follower of Mithra. It makes you wonder where the truth lies. Or if a man can ever find it. No, Augustine. No. Man doesn't find the truth. Man must let the truth find him. <laughs> 